In this video, we're going to learn how to use the isSpace function in C to check if a character is a whitespace character. The first thing we'll do is include the ctype library where the function is defined. To use the function, we pass it a character as an argument. If the character is a whitespace character, the function is going to return true. Otherwise, the function is going to return false. We'll declare a car variable, C, and we'll assign to C the whitespace character, space. Then, we'll pass C to the function. Now, if the function returns true, we'll output here, percent %C to output the character is a whitespace character, followed by a new line, and then here we'll have C to output C. Otherwise, we'll output here, percent %C to output the character is not a whitespace character, followed by a new line, and again we'll have C to output the character. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here space is a whitespace character. So the whitespace characters in C are exactly these characters here. Space, new line, tab, vertical tab, form feed, and carriage return. So for example, if here we had new line, and then we save compile and run the program, we'll get here that new line is a whitespace character. Here, new line actually produced a new line. You can see it here between the quotes. If we put something like lowercase d here though, lowercase d is not a whitespace character. So if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here lowercase d is not a whitespace character. Now we can also pass the function a character that's part of a string. So for example, we could have here a car array s. And inside this car array, we could store the string code space 402. Now each character in this string is stored at an index. So for example, this first lowercase c character here is stored at the index 0. This next character, lowercase o, is stored at the index 1, and so on for the rest of the characters in the string. So we could pass the function, the character in the string, at the index 2, with s at the index 2. We'll actually copy this and paste it here and here. And again, this character is lowercase d. So if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here that lowercase d is not a white space character. Next, let's try passing the function, the character in the string, at the index 4. That is a space character, which is a white space character. So here we'll have s at the index 4, and we'll also have it here and here as well. And if we save compile and run the program, we do get that space is a white space character. Now more accurately, if the function is passed a whitespace character, it's going to return a non-zero integer, where in C, a non-zero integer is considered true. Otherwise, if the function is passed a non-whitespace character, the function is going to return zero, where in C, zero is considered false. So this is how we can use the isSpace function in C to check if a character is a whitespace character. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.